Okay, now let's do subtraction. One digit minus one digit. Let's say we have nine minus two. Okay, nine minus two is seven. All right. Now, a way of looking at visually is let's see, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that negative two or minus two, you just take away this. All right. So now you have only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. If you prefer to look at visually. Um, let's look at another one. Let's say you have 8 minus 6. Same thing here. You're going to have the answer being 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So get rid of uh, 6. Okay, so minus 6. 1, 2, 2, 4, 6. So what's left over is 2. Okay. Let's try another number. Let's say it was... Now notice uh, I tried to avoid integer, negative numbers. All right. Now we'll, we'll learn that later when we come across integers. But for now we'll just keep it all the number positive, including when I do uh, three digit minus three digits. All right. Because the next... Uh, I'll do other lessons on um, integers later on. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say you have nine minus four. Okay, 9 to minus 4 is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, let's say. Get rid of, remember, we got to get 4 out. 1, 2, 2, 4, I mean. So what's left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 5. Alright, let's look at the last one. Let's say you have um, 8 minus 5. Alright, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, we want to get rid of uh, 5, 2, 4, 5. Okay, that's gone as well. So what's left over? 1, 2, 3. Okay. Okay, now let's do 2 digits minus 1 digit. Okay, let's say you have 18 minus 3. All right, 8 minus 3 gives you 5. And the, the 10 still stays there. All right, bring it down. Let's look at another one. Um, 27 minus 5. 7 minus 5 gives you 2. And you still have the 2. You don't touch the 10. 2, two tenths, that's 2, 22. Right? Let's do a more difficult one. Let's say if you have 33, and now it's a 7, minus 7. What do you do? See, now, you see what happened now? 3 is less than 7. 7, negative 7, or minus 7 is bigger than 3. So 3 minus 7 obviously will give you a, a negative number. So what you have to do is, this is an, you might have been taught this before. If not, this is how you do it, okay? You borrow, alright, from the, thir the, th the 310 here, the 30, okay? You borrow 10 from the thir th 30, so it's now it's a 20, okay? A 2. So you borrow a 10 from a 30, the 2. Now it's 13. 13 minus 7 gives you 6. Alright? And then the 2, just bring it down. Alright? So now 26, the 2, 10. That's 26. Let's try another one. You have 42 minus uh, 8. Alright? Again, this number is bigger than this number. So what you want to do is you want to borrow from the 10, the 4 10s, okay, borrow 10 from that, so that becomes a 3, so it's now 12, 12 minus 8 gives you 4, it's 34. Now let's try 2 di digits minus 2 digits, let's say you have 18 minus um, 15, alright, 8 minus 5 gives you 3, 1 minus 1 is 0, so width is 0, but I don't need to put 0 here, okay? We just leave that because 0, 3 really means 3. Try another one. 28 minus 17, okay? 8 minus 7 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's 11. Okay, let's try a harder one. Let's say you have 57 minus um, 20. Nine. All right. Notice this this number here is bigger than that number, so we need we have to borrow from the five ten here to fifty. For example, seven minus nine. You really can't do it in a sense. You have to borrow from the five ten, which is now four becomes a four ten or forty, 
and this is a 10, that's a 17, you carry it over the, ten, the other side, so 17, 17 minus 9 is actually 8, alright, 4 minus 2 is 2, so it's 28, let's try another one, let's say you have 88 minus uh, 69, again, see that 9 is bigger than 8, so you can't really, technically you can't really do it, you borrow, right, because this number is bigger than that one, you borrow from the 8, the 810, so it becomes a 710 or 70, and then that 10 is carried to the 8, so 18, 18 minus 9 is 9, 7 minus 6 is 1, so it's 19, that's your answer. Okay, now we have 3 digits minus 2 digits. Okay, let's say we have 183 minus uh, 21, all right? So 3 minus 1 is 2, 8 minus 2 is 6, and then you still have that 1, you bring it down, it's 162. What, here's another one, let's say it was uh, 200, uh, 203 minus 70, uh, 64, all right? This is, now, this is a little bit tricky. What's going to happen now is this 4, you see, it's bigger than a 3, so we need to borrow, we need to borrow, because you technically cannot uh, subtract 3 from 4, negative 4, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow from 20 because there's a 0, there's no number here, so we're going to borrow the whole well, so that 20 becomes 19, alright? And then that 10 that we borrow from the 19, okay? It's, uh, that 1, so the 13 minus 4 is 9. And then, now you have 9 minus 6, you get 3, and then you have 1 left. Alright? So 139. Let's look at another number. Let's say you have 845 minus uh, 57, right? Again, you see this 5 is smaller than the 7, all right? So we need to borrow from the 4, the 4 tenth, so now it's 3, this becomes a 15, okay? The 10th bring over, given to the 5, so it's 15. 15 minus 7 is 8, okay? Um, 3 minus 5, again, see that 5 is too big? Uh, we need to get some from the 8, so 800, become 700, now it's um, uh, 130 or 13 from this column, okay, the 10th column, so 13 minus 5 gives you 8, then you bring down the 7, 788. Try another one, let's say you have 913 minus 608, uh, 68, sorry, not 608, 68, okay. Again, you see that 8 is bigger than the 3. We're going to borrow from that 1, become 0, and bring that 1 over to the 3. So 13. 13 minus 8 gives you uh, 5. And again, you see z uh, 0 minus 6. 6 is too bigger than 0. Again, we need to borrow from the 9. That becomes 8. Now it's 10, right? 10 minus 6 is 4, and bring down the 8. So 845 is your answer. Okay, lastly, we're going to do 3 digit minus 3 digit. Let's say we have 723 minus 111. This is pretty easy because 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 7 minus 1 is 6, so 612. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say you have 587 minus 378, all right? Again, 7 minus 8. 8 is a bit bigger than 7, so we need to borrow from the 8, okay, the 10, uh, 8, 80, right, 10, 10, 80, 10, 8 tenths, okay, so now it becomes 7, now 10 is bringing over the, with the 7, so 17, 17 minus 8 is 9, 7 minus 7 is 0, and 5 minus 3 is 2, 209. That's another one. Let's say, now let's say you have uh, 817 minus 733, all right? Uh, 7 minus 3 is 4, now 1 minus 3, can't technically do it again, so we borrow from this 8, becomes 7, that's a, uh, 11, now 11 minus 3, all right, is um, 8, right? And then 7 minus 7 is 0, so we're not going to put 0 there, so the answer is 84. Okay. Let's do the last one. Let's say now you have um, uh, 745 minus um, 659, 
right? Again, you see, not, 5 minus 9, 9 is a bit bigger, so we need 4 from the 4 here to get, uh, now it becomes 3, and that, that 1 carry over to the 5, so 15, 15 minus 9, you get 6, 3 minus 5, you can't really do it technically, so you can't borrow from the 7, become 6, 13 now, so 13 minus 5 is 8, 6 minus 6 is 0, so the answer is 86.